Welcome back to Indian Trace. It's a great way to start right there with some great items. Now, the wood carving here on the left is from the jungles of Colombia and Panama, the Darien jungle, which is the in-between regions. And that was a trip for you. Uh, an indigenous uh, Indian made that for me and gave it to me. It was, it was a good time. <clears throat> Excuse me. This giveaway, as you might have seen by the title, is going to be my first ever challenge out there. And it's going to narrow the fail down of, of folks. Now, somebody can, you know, make up whether or not their birthday falls in January or February. And this is a call. This group is going to be in the hands of someone who has a birthday in either January or February as I go through the year. Uh, and this group that you see will be yours. And then uh, the only thing you have to do if you have a birthday in January or February is uh, drop me an email. The email address is under the description of every video I post. Uh, and uh, answer this question, which I will repeat, which would be, why are these North American Indian artifacts so special to you? Why are they almost a spiritual experience to many of you, to many of us, I should say. I have uh, broken them down into three groups of three here. Three medium-sized points that are absolutely fantastic. Three small points that are absolutely fantastic. This is a sacrifice giveaway. Because it should be sometimes that it should be a sacrifice for us to give some stuff away. And then I went into my Heartbreakers vase and the three on the top are three Heartbreakers that we're going to take a closer look at. But when you look at these groups, I also want to make this plug that all good things come in threes. All good, three, all good things come in threes. The best things come in threes. We have the Father, creatively designed the universe and this earth and who we are as people. The Son and the Spirit of Life. Then in threes, we also have a lot of other great things. And you'll start seeing it all over and in everything you do. Three. For three, for example... We have a man, a woman, and the child that they can produce. Three. And that could go for any mammal. Male, female, the child that they can produce is an absolutely perfect number. And so uh, I just decided I would go with threes for this. So if your birthday is in January or February, uh, and most of the time, it's pretty pitiful. A great group like this may merit only 12 people who are interested in getting these for free. Uh, and if your birthday falls in January or February, just answer this question. Why are these artifacts often a totally spiritual experience to you? Or why are they special? What makes the difference and sets them aside from common postmodern life this rhyolite point here is slightly serrated it's a fantastic piece I'm not going to handle them a lot because just for time's sake I want to get this out there and give people an opportunity to respond this piece which came from site 7 is in rhyolite it's a great piece there's a piece from Site 2, Turkey Hill, in Quartz.
and believe me, I do not have the most modern, up-to-date phone. So I always hope that getting these pictures out there and at least highlighting these artifacts, documenting to myself, because once they're gone, once they're given, I will never think about them again. I might be able to go back to this video, and hopefully a lot of people will follow my lead and do similar things for people. Pay it forward. So I'll go with the Heartbreakers first up here. This is a great Heartbreaker. Just the accents of a Guilford straight face, but the accents of a Guilford Yuma. It's a great piece. And you can see why it's in the Heartbreaker. An old break on the tip. Then in the Heartbreaker's realm, it is a piece of sugar quartz. Very resilient stone. Sugar quartz always carries a little bit of glitter in it. Specks of pyrite or whatever, I don't know. And then a piece of quartz. Slightly jagged on purpose. Sort of serrated, missing the tip. Base is very thinned out. Tapered. It's bright. I'm afraid that's not coming in. Anyway, doing my best to film this. So, it's not a challenge, but if you're interested in having these, I want you to, just as a sort of something I might do through the year, just depends. I know that not enough people get to see these because of the shadow banning, so we'll see how many. And if you think or you know somebody with a birthday, forward them the video, it doesn't matter. See how this thing turns out, the ones in the middle? Of course, this is the only true bow point that I have. The rest are at lateral tips, dart tips. But this little piece of quartz right here, about one of the most rare points that I do find, right there. And this one, and this one, four or five thousand years difference in their age. Because that there, tapered off the back, it's a Guilford Strait. a nice piece and then the little the LaCroix right I guess I could say old uh, super old they're all old they're all ancient North American Indian artifacts so enough said as I pan out with this hopefully you'll know somebody with a birthday in January February or you yourself and uh, believe me the pool is not that huge for those that respond. So jump in. Make a great set. Make a great frame for you. If you love the North American Indian artifacts like this, just tell me why in that email. Hope you find out there.